um, met uh, many friends here, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I'm always happy to, to come to Washington. Um, to be honest, always intimidated as the day began. Uh, normally, I would prepare very thoroughly on everything that need, would be raised, on every issue I would want to cover, on the messages I want to bring to Washington. And very often, on a whole subject, the issue from A to Z, what I need to bring out. Uh, when I got here, the first thing I would learn is that what you want to talk about, nobody is interested here. <laughs> Washington has its own ways, has its own agenda, uh, has its own, own momentum about issues. And uh, so you have to, to know how when you come to Washington and get on with the things you want to get on. And it, it is really a tremendously intellectually stimulating experience to be in Washington. Uh, because you eventually, at the end of the day, you want to get through what you want to tell people. And it's a lot of hard work, my friends. But I always went away enriched. And the reason why is that you're willing to engage you are willing to listen. You you eventually willing to listen, and and uh, I would go away wiser. Uh, and I hope, having listened to me, you will think this is worthwhile. So, but today I just I came not with just by myself. I came with a team of experts team of experts who actually know this subject a lot better than I do. So um, I hope uh, you will enjoy listening to them, talking to them, asking questions, have communication. And I hope uh, we all go away uh, wealthier uh, in terms of knowing how important US-China relationship has become and how important this economic relationship between the two countries is and how much it not only can help to create economic vigor, uh, economic opportunity, but also create millions and jobs for both countries. Uh, but more than that, such an economic relationship can really help US-China to move ahead on the overall relationship of these two countries. Uh, the United States and China are two very different countries with different histories and cultures. They are also at different stages of development, one being the largest developing nation and the other being the largest developing nation in the world. Each of substantial economic size, and therefore each contribute to global economic activities in different ways. Working together, we can do more in such areas as global economic recovery and financial stability. Furthermore, US and China are the two largest trading nations in the world, working together we can help to further liberalize trade of goods and services around the world. The fact is, whether it is in energy security, food safe sufficiency, protection of the environment, climate change, and nuclear weapon proliferation, fighting terrorism, preventing epidemics or drug trafficking, all of these and other transnational challenges that the world faces today require multilateral efforts. But if US and China work together on any of these issues, the chances of success 
will be enhanced. It is for all the above reasons that from a global perspective, U.S.-China relationship is the most important international relationship today. From a bilateral respect, uh, perspective, the economic relationship between the United States and China has developed over the past few decades from virtually non-existent. Uh, Henry Kissinger was saying to me yesterday when, when they met uh, early in 1971 uh, in Beijing, the, the, the size of trade between China and the United States uh, is smaller than the size of trade between the United States and El Salvador. And that was the relationship, uh, economic relationship at that time. But now, after a few dec decades, this relationship has developed from virtually non-existent to becoming a highly interdependent and mutually beneficial one. As the two largest trading nations in the world, they are also each other's second largest trading partners. A vast volume of trade in goods, integrated supply chain, a growing volume of trading services, substantial direct American investment in China, and an even larger Chinese investment in U.S. Treasury securities speak to the importance of the relationship. On balance, the relationship is of tremendous mutual benefit. But the question we want to ask today is where is this economic relationship going in the future? To answer this question, the China-United States Exchange Foundation engaged a group of eminent scholars with advice from academics, business, political leaders from both countries to undertake a study to examine the economic relationship. The study viewed the past, reviewed the past, examined the difficulties in the economic relationship that could impede increasing commerce between them, but most importantly, look into the future. The study concluded, and you will hear many of this being presented to you, but it concluded that, here I quote, both countries want to establish a pattern of secure, high quality, sustainable growth and employment for their people. And this study demonstrates that bilateral relationship built and adapted over time can make a material contribution to that shared goal. And there are many examples how U.S. and China can cooperate with each other. But this is not my role to talk about it at this moment. What I do want to say to you is that you will enjoy listening to the, to the presentation that is going to be made to you. Uh, I want you to really think about this uh, I hope we can at least give you some food for thought as to how important this economic relationship is. And also I want you to hopefully to think in terms of not only the, the economic opportunities and the uh, job creation that can come about because of a better relationship economically, but how this better economic relationship can make a real difference to the overall relationship of the two countries. Because that is really important, as Matt said early on. That relationship it is really the most important relationship on Earth. So if, uh, if uh, on a multilateral basis, there's reason for us to be together. On bilateral basis, there's reason for us to be together. Uh, then there is no reason why we cannot get on with it. And uh, I look forward to, to, to be sitting down there, listening to everybody, hearing your questions, and uh, 
I'm sure uh, after uh, the lunch this afternoon, I will go away a wiser person uh, and uh, come back again to Washington with renewed energy to bang my head and get things happen. Thank you very much.